Okay, folks, I have a 1967 Shasta here and it's for sale. I have completely remodeled this thing. Um, painted the outside. Uh, all of it's been painted in oil, primed and painted oil paint. Um, brand new wheels, tires. And uh, new lights all on the outside. Um, I'm having some trouble getting these um, running lights up here to work and my stop lights. But other than that, I'm going to probably take it to Austin and have my magnetic lights on. Um, back here, I thought this would be cool if somebody wanted to, but it's just a spare. Make a little fold-down outdoor kitchen right here. But I haven't done anything with this. I just wanted to open it to show you guys. Um, that wall's solid. It's all solid in here. The floor is solid. Back, that's just oil grease. Yeah. So, some old um, stands here. All right, let's close that and walk around on this side. I put a stained glass window in here. It's really pretty when you get on the inside. And there's your tank there. It's up underneath there. I gotta um, put a um, little flange on that yet, which I still will do. Your new tires. Uh, here's a new, um, all new electrician, electricity was put in here, a new junction box, and um, uh, made a new plug for it. That's the style of plug it came with, wanted. Um, this would be your hot water heater. This is where you fill, you have an interior water tank, but when you're hooked up like I am right now to your water supply, that's right here, which feel, fills this water tank, and then that's how you get your water. Uh, there's no leaks. There was a dent here. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, so I, I did what I could with that. Oh, ding. Oh. It's all in really good shape. This was found under, um, like, inside of a barn, like, under an eave for, like, 30 years it was sitting. So. Okay. Come on in. Okay, so this is your little kitchenette. And um, just to show you, the gas works here. Let me get that on, and voila, the stove works. And so does the oven. The hot water heater does work as well, but I highly suggest uh, taking this old hot water heater out and putting a new one in. Um, I just didn't do it around this time. I usually do, but um, all the cabinets have been painted inside and out. There's all kinds of storage here. Um, this does drop down into a bed, okay? And then these cushions will make a, a small bed here. And or you can see there's um, this, which slides out. And then there's a cushion back there that'll fold out into a bed. So that's kind of cool. And then you can, um, my mom is sewing a curtain that we're going to put on here. It's like a privacy curtain for the bed up here. You got two small windows with cubbies on either side. There's no broken glass in here, no leaks. It's all been sealed up. Uh, I didn't put any screen in this yet, um, and I'm probably not going to. I'll let whoever buys it put the screen in, but I did put that in um, because screen always breaks down there anyway, so... This is a nice closet. Mm -hmm. Those wires I will be capping off because they go absolutely nowhere. Uh, this is the original refrigerator and it still works. I do not have it plugged in right now, but um, of course I can show you here. I'm going to open it. Hold on. Sometimes when you're traveling, you put that little pin in there. But nice, huh? It's a good size uh, freezer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this works. It gets really nice and cold. Um, 
again, I don't have it plugged in right now. So I'll get a little kind of kick with your knee right there to shut that cute little thing there. You've got a skylight here. Um, you know, we've got storage up here. There's all kinds of cabinets, cabinets and drawers and cabinets underneath the refrigerator. And let me show you what's in this closet here. We totally upgraded the power. Um, I don't know if we can get the, but we got uh, three fuses there that are 15 amps each. So, um, and there's some new plumbing going on. We put all pecs in. Um, that's for behind the shower, actually. So we had about the power. Um, you can. I'll, I'll um, describe to you how you can put a little AC. You could do a little window AC, or you could actually, um, underneath this table, do one of those um, portable ACs, and then you put like a, a house dryer vent in the front of the trailer where you would put the hose for the portable AC so it can circulate the air from the outside, and then you don't have to worry about a window AC. Um, and we put an outlet in right here as well so that'll be nice if you want to you know have a tv or um anything right there and come back here got this privacy curtain this pulls across and then we'll um block off this area uh this is a pull out bed um i did not make the plywood but i do have the pull out frame so you know, that's all you need is a piece of plywood to go on top of it, which I could show you how to do. Uh, I got some more storage up here. And there's no rot behind here or anything. I just put these on because I think these look so cute. There was um, some rot on the floor, which you can see I've raised it up and I actually put in some plywood there. So you'll see a little elevation, which it just needs a little trim piece here. But, um, yeah, the, the floor back here was bad. And then I had some wall issues that I had fixed. And then I put that on there. But this wall, you saw from the outside, was perfectly fine. So, um, yeah. This is the bathroom. Brand new toilet. Pex um, plumbing running over to the toilet. You got a little towel bar there. Um, I do have a globe for this light. Let me just turn that light off because it's taken away from our cool stained glass window which is green and looks awesome I do not think the camera is really picking it up very well um, shower there we go yeah. water works great mm -hmm. let's turn that off this is all brand new put that in got a nice little brand new shower curtain there and a towel bar there was a sink here when I bought it and I was like no way there's way there's not enough room in here to have this sink that like came out to here so I figured you're gonna be camping I mean brush your teeth in the shower right and then there's a door that slides there to shut off the bathroom so this is a 19 foot trailer um, and uh, like I said it was um in a barn for 30 years and it just you know came out to really not take me too much time I kept a lot of it original and um, so yeah it's uh, been a really great little camper I've been having fun remodeling it here we put some tile backsplash and there's some la, la, la. cute little drains I love these little things um, you got a neat old paper towel holder and a little soap dish holder, kind of retro. And then this lamp, um, there's a little filament I got to get for that. I'm going to hopefully be able to find it. But this is actually a gas light, which is really cool. So you can get this little, it's a little filament to go on this tube and then you light it from the bottom, you turn it on. And so you would have, a, I'm not sure, I would really trust that because of fumes so uh yeah this is a pretty neat globe on this light here i found that a at a yard sale so i stuck it there 
You got power here for your coffee pot. Um, this fan and um, light works on DC power, which is up underneath this seat. Um, I can show you that actually, because I know some people will be interested. So you pull your cushions out like so. And then down here is your power for off the grid. Um, the battery goes here, and these are your two plugs, you know, positive and negative. Um, I blew a fuse on there, so I got to replace the fuse. Um, we had it working great yesterday. And then that's a little pump that you can, when you're off the grid, you turn it on right here. And, um, and then there's a, le a water level check for your big uh, tank that's under here that fills with water. And then when you're off the grid, you have your battery hooked up to that pressurizing little mechanism right there. And you turn it on and you got water. And then you also have these little lights. These little lights work off that. And we had that all running yesterday. Um, but like I said, I blew the fuse. So this is the old uh, gas heater, which I do not trust these things at all. So I suggest a little electric heater. Um, let's see, another little thing, the floors. Okay, I put these floors down there like um, a glue down floor. And I really wasn't happy with the way that this turned out. It has little gaps in there. So you guys might want to put down a, um, a different floor. But I figure if you're camping, again, it's one of those things. But it sure would be nice. I, I, I just saw these um, at um, Habitat for Humanity, and I just picked them up. And then I got them here and stuck them in and... They did that, so I wasn't too happy about it. It's real cute, sitting here, comfy. This comes with it. This is a vintage uh, percolator coffee pot. And, um, yeah. Lots of room. Now, this bed here, when it's down, you got to be careful of bumping your head. But other than that, it's kind of cool. It feels kind of cozy underneath here. And, um feels quite large. I think with the way I, I designed it with the paint, um, having the white cabinets over here and then the dark in the center and the white out there really kind of made it feel like you have several areas here. It's not just one big area. It's all like, oh, this is a kitchen. There's my little living room, bedroom, and my little dinette. So it's solid and uh, she's ready to go. Hit the road. So tomorrow she's going to be getting on the road to Austin, Texas, and she's going to be looking for a buyer. <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> okay, well, if you're interested, email me, get in touch with me, and we can go from there. Over and out.